Can he not? Oh my god, he listened. That's my rap is a genius. We'll probably get onto that later. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I do not know why I have no energy. It is like half twelve on a Saturday. This video was not meant to happen today. Cause this is actually meant to be a good video, but then like I don't know why I'm filming it now. Like I can easily film a tidy my room with me, which I'm gonna do after. But then again, I wanna film this. So I'm gonna film this. It's about time that I film this. Can you not? Bo, bo, bo. Thank you. I am 14 and a half years young and I have filmed a video explaining my disabilities to you. It was actually my first video on my channel, but I've done that spontaneously. And it's not very good because I'm not quite sure what my disabilities are. In case you don't know, I have a visual impairment and probably should start with that. My formula hasn't developed properly, which is the part of the eye that lets you see, basically. Um, that hasn't developed properly. And then something with that, I also have astigmatism, which most people have, nystagmus, some people have albinism and photophobia. So those are like four conditions, but then I don't know I know I have a disability, but I don't really know which one of them is it. Basically, I always just get confused and think this one means that one. It's like a little mix match game, and I'm always wrong. Like, I thought albinism was the main thing, but it turns out to be what? Photophobia? I don't know. Albinism is why I have my Elsa here. So, we're gonna be focusing on that one and Googling. Also, please don't be expecting like a good quality video from this. Well, you know, I actually like do the screen like thing because as if I know how to do that. Albinism. How do I zoom in? Because I can't see. Albinism is a congenital. It's the fourth word and I'm already done. Congenital. Etal. Congenital. 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 Con gen etal. Albinism is a congenital disorder. That sounds like a gecko disorder. Oh, I'm, it's a disorder. I'm disordered now. No, that is a disability. Oh my god, wait, what? Albinism is a congenital disorder characterized in humans by the complete or partial absence of pigment. I know all about that. In the skin, hair, and eyes. And eyes? Well, yeah, because I have like. My eyes were meant to be blue, but they're like really weird, like they're like lyrically. Albinism is associated. Good talking. Albinism is associated with a number of vision defects. Aren't we posh? Such as photophobia, I have, nystagmus, I have, and. and. Al amyopia. That sounds like a god. But to a thee, nearly got bingo. Right, this is like too confusing. Why are we so waddy here? So to summarise, that is why I'm a peely wally and I have white hair, which is your pigment. Because I have no pigment, I also can't tan and that just means I'm more likely to get skin cancer. So albinism is associated with photophobia and nystagmus, which are two things I have. What causes albinism? A slip. A defect in one of several genes that produce or distribute melanin, which is pigment, causes albinism. The defect may result in an absence of melanin pigment production or reduced amount of melanin pigment production. The defective gene passes down from both parents to the child and leads to albinism. Right, okay, I know this. Basically, my parents both had to have the albinism gene. And they don't know they have it because like nobody has like it just gets passed down in the families but if you have the albinism gene the kid won't have an albinism gene unless the other person you're having the kid with has the albinism gene just want to add in here i am so sorry for how dead i sound and look i have just snapped for four hours 
so that might explain a bit but just want to put it out here I am like a zombie and I apologise because my parents both had the albinism gene they, it's a 1 in 4 chance they will have a child who has albinism and I am their third kid the odds look great and I am automatically born with albinism genes, which means that, sorry boys, if you've got albinism, I don't want to have a kid with you. Because, like, I want to, like, have some mystery there. Oh, is that stain on my windowsill? It probably is. Who is most likely to albinism? That is me as a question. Since most people who carry an albinism gene don't show any signs of the condition, yes, I'm the only person in my family's history to ever have it. A baby with albinism can be born to parents who are c whose colouring is typical for people in of their ethnic group. That sentence is trying so hard not to be racist. The most common form of ocular albinism affects only males who have inherited who have inherited <laughs> who have inherited an albinism gene from their mothers. Wait, what? So it's most common for boys to have the albinism gene from their mothers. But that doesn't make any sense because it has to be from the mother and the dad. That's in it to two. It's estimated that one out of every 18,000 to 20,000 people born in America each year have some form of albinism, according to National Organizations for Albinism and Hypopigmentation. That sounds like a hypopigmentation. Hypopigmentation. Right, okay. So basically, what that means is, say I was meant to have brown hair and a little splash of a tan and, like, green eyes. Albinism just wipes all that out and goes, no, nah, white, 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 white. So that's just a good way to explain it. Why is there so many fancy words, honestly? If people are Googling it, then they obviously aren't going to Harvard. They probably have, like, a library just on the system. Please don't take any offence, I don't know what I'm saying at all. I feel so sorry for me editing this because I'm not, like I'm stuttering so much. I just started there. Oh. Where did humans come from in the beginning? Oh, that's a whole nother video. Albinism occurs with vision problems, which may include... St oh, <laughs> so complicated. Strabismus, which is crossed eyes, photophobia sensitive to light, nystagmus, involuntary rapid eye movements, <laughs> you know I'm just going to fly around now, impaired vision or blindness, no, or oh, astigmatism, have that as well, so what I got, oh I got four out of five, now you've got bingo again, what is the average life expectancy with somebody with albinism, excuse me, what, albinos can live a normal lifespan, oh, I thought it was like endangered there. <laughs> I really want to know the people who googled that. What is the average life it's been with somebody with albinism? <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I sport too soon, have I? Oh yeah, I sport too soon. However, some forms of albinism can be life-threatening. What? The lives of people with Hemanisque Pudak syndrome can be shortened by lung disease. People in tropical countries who do not use skin protection may develop life-threatening skin cancers. Right, okay. So it's if you have a certain type of albinism and you get a skin cancer, that can kill you. It's saying your life expectancy can be shortened by lung disease, but then starts to talk about life-threatening skin cancers. So what I think is you have to have a certain type of albinism in order to get a life th as you know I don't think so <laughs> is there a cure for albinism coming soon oh my god season 2 Netflix there is no cure for albinism but some symptoms can be treated oh my god primarily uh, albinism affects hair eyes skin and vision what do they do in to albinos in Africa excuse me Persecution of people with albinism, excuse me. Based on the belief that certain bodies, parts of al albinistic, oh, I've never heard that one before, I'm albinistic. P 
people can transmit magical powers to a literally Elsa. As a result, people with albinism have been persecuted, killed and de dismembered and the graves of albinos dug up and, de and desecrated. Oh my god. I'm sorry. People in Africa, they will persecute, kill you, dismember you, dug up your grave or disintegrate you because they believe certain body parts of your body can be transmitted for magical powers. What? Right, well, I'm not going to be booking a holiday there. Why are we talking about panthers here? There are two types of albinism. Um, uh, the most common one is where it does affect your hair, eyes, skin and vision. How did I forget that one? And the second one is just that it affects your vision so that you can have brown hair with albinism and stuff like that. But the there's type 1 and type 2. I believe I have ocular catanosis. Who invented words? Oculus, blah, 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 blah. albinism is inherited in a awesome receptive pattern which means both copies of the gene in each cell have mutations most often the parents of an individual with an awesome recessive gene each carry one copy of the mutated gene but they do not show any signs and symptoms of the condition that's interesting because we're in dna and biology so basically my parents both had a mutated gene of albinism but because they only had one of them and you need to like it's a double stranded helix for dna because they only had one it didn't affect them but then because I had two, one from each of them, it affects me. It's like, I already knew that, but that's cool. Albinism is usually passed either from one unaffected parent to a child or from both unaffected parents. I thought you could only get it from both. Wait, what? I thought, you, I thought it had to be both parents. How is it only one parent? So does that mean it doesn't matter who I mate with? <laughs> So does that mean it doesn't matter who I mate with because I already have the gene? If I had like one of those like Virgin Mary babies that people are talking about now, like at my kid could have albinism just for me. Oh, so my chances are even lower. Different types of albinism are passed on in different ways. So I learned some new information but didn't actually answer the question. It all depends on whether you and your wife carry the albinism gene. If the two of you do, there is each a, has a 1 in 4 chance of carrying albinism. See? Got that statistic right. But that just contradicts what that one says, so I'm just going to like ignore it. Where does the albinism gene come from? Maybe this whole video can just be on albinism. And then I can do a future video on al um, photophobia and nystagmus because like, I love learning about genetics and that and albinism is the main one and is known to affect all vertebrates including humans what vertebrates mammals it is due to absence or defect of tyrannies that's like mayonnaise a copper containing emsine involving in the production of melanin oh so like, you get a specific thing that's what causes it I mean, there's four genes and tysonin is one of them, but that's not what that is. Ocular albinism type 1, so I'm type 1, is inherited, as you think that's what I'm, it's inherited in an X-linked pattern. A condition is considered X-linked if the mutation link that causes the disorder is located on the X chromosome, one of the two sex chromosomes. Right, so I do have ocular, so I have type 1 albinism. One albino and two normally pregnant fetuses were diagnosed. So if they can tell that you have an albinism gene, then they can test that your kid has it. Does albinism skip generations? Please, it skip thousands for me. Albinism can apparently skip generations. Why does it say apparently? You're meant to be telling me here. Can skip generations. We cannot trace albinism back far enough in my family to find its source. Can we do that? Oh my god, that's a video. Right, note to my future self. Do a video to see if you can track where the source of albinism came from. So that means there could be a two-parter because I can go all the way up my dad's side and go all the way up my mum's side. Just a little side note, if I am pregnant, I don't think I want to. I would never 
test to see if a disability has the child because it really doesn't matter to me. Actually, I might, but that would just be because to prepare and like, make sure they have the most like loving and support they can possibly have when they come into the world. So I might do it, but I'd do it for a positive reason. Like I'd never like get an abortion because of it. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> that would be a bit hypocritical, wouldn't it? An estimated 1 in 70 people carry the gene associated with albinism but are not affected by the mutations. That doesn't make sense to me. 1 in 70 people can carry the genes associated with albinism but are not affected by the mutations. And it's the mutated genes that can pass on albinism. Right, okay, so you can have something associated with albinism, but if it ain't mutated, it ain't passing. Right, okay, um, my camera just cut out because, well, my iPad, because there isn't enough storage. So we're just going to have to do it quickly a few more, and then when this cuts out, that's me done. Different types of albinism can occur based mainly on which genes mutated cause the disorder. Is there a cure for ocular albinism? Current treatment options for vision problems caused by albinism are limited to correction of refraction or areas and abnormalia. Well, I don't have that last one, so let's hope I have refraction areas. Low vision aids and in some cases, extra muscle surgery, nelatron, I'm not literally even saying one word right here, is an FDA approved drug used in the treatment of trimosphere. Vision problems are pa present at birth and do not become more severe over time. Well, that's good. Can I be most have purple eyes? Well, I have purple eyes. Look, probably can't see in the middle. You can see my nystagmus though. A common myth is that people with albinism have red eyes. With Although lighting conditions can allow the blood vessels at the back of the eyes to be seen. Is that what that is? Oh my god, so when I have red eyes, that's just you seeing the blood vessels at the back of my eyes. Oh, that's a bit off. Like, I don't feel like giving a free x-ray to people. It's like a protective coating, so that when the flash hits you, it will bounce off that. I mean, that's like your pigmentation, basically. The lighter your eyes, the more light you let in. Why do Albinos eyes switch? I didn't know mine did. Why do Albinos look the same? Because they have albinism. Is albinism recessive? Yes. Does albinism affect males or females more? Males are more commonly affected by females. Oh, I'm even more special. This is because males have only one X chromosome and therefore one copy of the gene. I don't know. What treatment is available for albinism? Yeah, let's go to rehab. I care. Simple. You are a folibidologist may recommend surgery or optimal muscles to minimise nystagmus. So yeah, see, like, my eyes, like, they do that all the time, which I'm gonna go into, like, in the other video, because that's actually, like, so cool. Um, but yeah, basically, if your nystagmus is going like that, and, like, going everywhere, then you can get surgery to reduce it, but it can't go away. Albinism is caused by faulty genes that are hot. Oh. Damn you parents giving me my faulty genes. People with genetic changes in both genes have, <laughs> have many of the usual features of albinism, of the type 2 albinism, including light colours, eyes and vision problems. However, right, okay, so they, however, they typically have red hair instead of the usual yellow. Okay, so about type 2 of us, that's the one where like type 1 is like you're white, deal with it like snow. Um, but type 2 is like meh, sprinkle a little bit in there. So they usually have red hair because they're taking, like say they might have yellow but like they'll take some pigment away so it makes red. I don't know how that works but okay. How do albino plants survive? I didn't know they existed. Albino redwoods which cannot produce nutrition or parasite. parasite. Depending on the parent tree for life. Conrad finds it amazing that albino genes have adapted to survive without chlorophyll and photosynthesis. Oh my god! Albino plants don't synthesize and don't have the sight and don't have chlorophyll 
which is a, is the site of fourteen synthesis. So they literally don't have the thing that could let them do photosynthesis. So they just rely on their parent all the time. Why is albinism more common in Africa? That must be so difficult living in, like, having albinism in Africa. Because, like, when it's sunny, I need to stay indoors. We don't need to, like, sink them all the way, fat to 50. Doesn't answer the question a little bit. What's type 2 albinism? I'll give you this so you can actually know. I'm getting bored of just feeling the same thing here. They have little to no pigmentation of the iris. They also lack pigment in the retinal, that's the thing, in the retinal pigment epilar cells that lie between the retina. Also, I can't say the fovea properly, so that isn't the right pronunciation of it. I usually right between the retina and the chlorophyll. This gives a unique appearance to the retina and make the underlying and blood vessels of the chlorophyll more visible. I have no idea what they're talking about. I discovered albinism. Saw, oh he's a saw, saw Archibald Garrett. The discovery of the mechanism which lurked behind albinism followed the discovery of Taiwanese activity already in 1908. Only like me was around in World War One. that's crazy. He was alive from 1857 to 1936. Oh phew, had a good life. A British, you're welcome physician and scientist suggested that albinism was usually due was probably due to failure of an intralateral enzyme or oh, you genius pigmentation in the eye is a central for normal vision don't know why but can i see right we can pick one more because i'm getting a bit bored now do albinos have albino babies here we go this is what i was talking about earlier people are born with albinism because they inherit albinism we know this if just one parent has the albinism gene and the other one has no pigment gene, their child won't have albinism. So I really don't know what that other site was talking about earlier. So I need a pee again. Every single video. Um, so I don't know what they're talking about where it's just from one person. But each child will have one of two chances of being a carrier of the albinism gene. So one in two chance I have it. Um... And then, if I have someone else, there's a one or two chance, that's a two and four chance. I don't know, but like that's like a too high a chance to meet with somebody with albinism to have an albino kid. Right, I really hope this video turned out okay, because I really want to do it, and I really need a piece, so I'm going to talk really, really fast. Follow my social media down below, I have a Snapchat specially for you, I have Instagram, where I'm going to slip post them all on, I have Twitter that I never use, and I have Pinterest, where I'm always on. That, that isn't down there, so it is my Apple Music instead. Make sure to like this video if you have Amazon or if you know someone or if you like this content. Comment down below if you have any video ideas. If you have any other questions, then please let me know. And you will see me next weekend with a pre-recorded video, but I will see you in two weeks where I film an actual video because now it will actually be clear. Okay, bye!